Hello guys and welcome to a new video on the SketchUp TV channel. This video today is about a very special topic. Sketch released a new blog article where they told us something about the new update policy, about the new costs for the updates and so on. And I know many of you are like confused or maybe are even pissed about the new update um, yeah, policy. And at first I would really like to just go into some comments of the community to see what the people think about the update and to yeah, really see what the current feeling is. Because I think some of you didn't really heard about it or didn't really know what to feel about it. So let's just get into some comments that I just read out and we are going to discuss the new update with these comments. So I actually just looked on different communities like Medium, like uh, Twitter, Facebook, Designer News and so on to see what the people think about this announcement. And the first comment was on Medium. This is in my Facebook browser. And this is one of the comments that many people uh, think like is the real thing. They think the new sketch announcement is just to make the normal paper version model to a subscription based model like for example Adobe, uh, Photoshop and so on is using it. A different comment like on here is that they say yeah it's a subscription model and they are even putting on something on the price. You know they made a price increase uh, like a year ago I think from $79 to $99 and I think this was totally okay, this was justified. There was no problem for me and for the main part of the community to say $20 more for Sketch is just fair for them, for the dev team and I think it was a great choice to do that. But now, yeah, it looks like they are increasing the price even more because some people really think that $99 per year is just too expensive. Another great comment this time from Facebook is that yeah, the people say they really would pay this price for Sketch but they aren't really sure if these new kind of versions that are going to happen because Sketch won't release like a major update anymore the major updates were like Sketch 3 or in maybe in the future Sketch 4 but now they are switching to Sketch uh, 39, Sketch 40, 41 and so on. So there are no big updates anymore which is also good. I like this idea because it reduces the pressure that is on the dev team, on the whole company and without having these big updates they can just give us some nice features and so on in smaller portions and smaller updates and I really overall like the idea to go away from big updates to smaller updates which also feature nice stuff. But I also like the comment because it's stating that there can be problems if they don't really improve on compatibility. This is a problem and this can be a problem in the future to like use a file that has been created in for example sketch version 45 in sketch 41 that this can be a problem and i hope they are like doing something about that to have like cross uh, version compatibility this would be amazing and this would also be necessary in my opinion yeah this is another comment where the where one of the people's out of the community is just saying all these words in the blog announcement they are just actually hiding the thing that is currently happening and that's a subscription model and i think this one this is from designer news is actually the best comment that i read so far so this is quite interesting. I will also link down this comment to you uh, in the description down so you can read the full comment. But what it basically says is that people who want to purchase Sketch and for example Sketch is currently in the version uh, 3.8 then they aren't really sure 
if they should buy it right now. Because if you buy it right now, you pay $99. And imagine in one month or in two months, there is the new release of Sketch 4. Then they have to pay another $99. And that's not good for the business of Sketch because I think they saw some uh, sales drops uh, recently. So that's maybe also something because they want to change this update policy. And I think that's okay, that's just fine, that's fair for the dev team or for the sketch team. And it's also fair for the users. But the comment is also saying that this should actually not cost, cost us more. They should cut the price into half to, let's say, to pay $50 and every other year you also pay like $50 or something like that. So you don't have to pay like $99 per year. Because, for example, from Sketch uh, 2 to Sketch 3 or from Sketch 3 to Sketch 4, this wasn't just one year, but like two years, which means you didn't pay $99 per year, but like $50 per year. I hope you just got that. That means they really, and we have to admit that, or they have to admit that, they really introduced a new price, which is higher than the current one. And I think that's not good because most of the people who use Sketch use it also because it's cheaper than Adobe and like the Adobe Creative Suite. I really understand that many people switched from Adobe to Sketch or is it Adobe actually in English? I don't know, in German it's just Adobe. So I just continue using Adobe, I hope you understand that. And yeah, so many people switched from Adobe to Sketch because they just sold a cheaper product which is amazing for UI design and so on and now they are increasing the price maybe this will continue to make people switching back to Photoshop because many developers and agencies and so on didn't even have sketch so for example you are switching your job and the agency the new agency for example they don't want sketch they don't want to use it, they don't want to buy it. They have Photoshop, they have Illustrator and so on. And you will continue using Adobe. This is like not an argument anymore for Sketch because right now it's not really that much cheaper than for example buying Photoshop and Lightroom together. There are packages of the Creative Cloud and with this price increase they aren't really cheap anymore in comparison to Adobe. This is another nice comment which is also saying that this is not the subscription model that Adobe is using because Adobe is using a subscription model which deactivates your license if you don't want to pay anymore. And with this new sketch update or sketch update policy you are now able to say I don't want to renew my license after one year and this is like using the old version like for example 3.9 or 39 you can use this for like forever you don't have to renew your license but I'm sure there can be some compatibility problems in the future and I, as I said I don't hope that I hope it will be good I hope you can use old and new files on different um, sketch versions but I'm not sure about that so you can use your old version you don't have to renew your license which is great which is like some community friendly stuff right there and I really like this so in the end I actually like the changes I like that they are really that transparent about their future plans they could also just decide on these new things without asking the community on what they are thoughts are about that and I like that they are asking us and I also understand that many people don't really know what the new changes will bring and I think this will take some time to just settle down on everyone and I think it will also take some time to just happen I think they are not going to introduce version 49 like next week or something like that and everyone should really like calm down and see what the future will bring but of course I think as I said some people will go and will 
switch maybe back or for the first time to Photoshop because the price uh, difference isn't that big anymore. And I still love Sketch, I love using it and I will of course continue doing these tutorials. And yeah, I hope I just could give you a, a short sum up of the new blog article. It's also linked down in the description for you if you want to read it. And I wanted to give you some of the impressions that I had from reading the comments and the um, thoughts of our community. And yeah, so thank you for your time and we see us next time. See you!